Hi guys, my name is Connor and today I'm going to be showing you how to configure a pool scoreboard on OBS. So first you're going to select the game type as pool slash billards here and call it a pool game. So you can add a description here if you like. I'm going to leave it blank for now. Click create. You then have the choice to add one of these four scoreboards for now. We will be adding more scoreboards in the future and you also have the choice to add announcements as well. So I am gonna add the Obsidian scoreboard for now. And you can see in the left here, we've got a preview. And on the right, this is our live stream. So once you click go live, you'll get a link. And this live stream part is what will show on your actual OBS live stream. So I'm gonna add a player name. So I'm just gonna say John Doe and Jane Doe, we'll say for now, put their full name. And yeah, so once you've that added, you can select how the scoreboard fades into the screen or how it transitions into the screen. So we can say slide left, and then on exit, we can say slide right. So that just means it will slide left on the way in and right like that on the way out. In the settings here again, you can add race to. So for this, we're gonna say race to five, and you can see at the bottom that updates immediately. Now we're gonna click update to show it on the live stream. And you can see it transitions in there with a slide to the left. And then we're gonna click go live. And straight away you'll see you get the link. So you copy that link. And then you go over to OBS. You click add browser. Click OK. Paste the link here. Type 1920 by 1080. And click OK. And you'll see the scoreboard appears there with a slightly transparent background. So when we click plus, you can see that it updates on the stream. Same here. And if you make a mistake, you can undo it and it updates immediately. You can also use a remote control on your mobile. So if you click the QR code button, you'll get this QR code here as well. And you can just scan that on your phone camera or you can open it in a new window by clicking this button or you can copy the link and maybe email it to someone who is gonna manage the remote control or you can open it in a new window. For now, I'll just open it in a new window and I'll make it roughly the size of a mobile phone. And yeah, so again, if you click plus, it will update in the live stream straight away. And it syncs across your remote control, your dashboard and your live stream. So yeah, that's pretty much it from the scoreboard side of things. You can also add other overlays such as announcements. Um, I'll just add this plain one here for now. You can click this, you can click this layer then once it's added and then click edit and then you can change the scale and the position. You can also do this with the scoreboard if you want to move it around and click save position. And again, you can add transitions. So slide to the right on the way in and slide to the left on the way out. So you can hide everything first and then we can show our announcement. And yeah, you can just change the text here for the title and the announcement text can go here. So yeah, that updates on the live stream like that. And again, if I click remove, it's gone. And then if we show the scoreboard again, slides in and yeah that's pretty much everything in terms of pool for now um, we will be adding more features as we get requests and more users thanks a million for watching if you have any questions leave a comment below or you can email us at info at have a good day